All right, Brian from Garage Mahal, giving you a quick update on my Skybox uh, vending machine, my Maytag. Uh, trying to do a different approach to replacing the compressor. Uh, actually, I put a second compressor in here, and that one failed after a couple of weeks. And I really had some strong hopes because I took it out of a small micro fridge that was in working condition and like I said it worked for a couple of weeks and then it finally died and uh, you can see the back of it where I took the compressor out but anyway a lot of stuff going on in here but some promise is I am setting up a I'm not sure how to pronounce it Pompilier something roller anyway the solid state design and I figure I'm going to use two units and he's typically used for cooling down CPUs or um, you know other electronic devices. But what I did is we have two cooling fans on this side, and then on this side it actually expels the the hot air. Um, so it's like a heat exchange. And so I figured I'd I get two of these, hook them up to the back of the skybox, and it's showing some pretty good promise. And basically what I have here is I use some duct tape to make a make just duck and I have the air coming in through here getting cooled blowing out going down getting into the other unit and then blow, blowing out on this side as you can tell it's 59 degrees uh, on this side of the garage I can show you the ambient temperature is about 79 let me see here it's, uh, it's 80 on this one and 78 so we'll go on average we'll take that 79 degrees so we're about 20 degrees below ambient and my hope is if my math and science is correct that when i link these four units together two units four cooling pads each that when they run in unison i'll have the cold air come out from here down here get sucked into this unit, cooled further, and then come out this end. And then in a self-contained uh, box like the Maytag Sky Box, we should definitely achieve a, a cooler temperature because, like I said, what will happen is this unit's putting out 59-degree air, then it will get recirculated through these two units, and then come out, and the air should be a lot cooler than that. Uh, let me get my heat gun. I think I have that over here because you can really tell what these units are actually putting out. Sorry for all the quick movements in here. But we put the heat gun on inside that unit. So it's actually, yeah, let me see if I can't get it a little bit steadier in here. So that's the reading off the heat gun. So it's actually a little bit cooler inside there. I get the right, so it's like 55, 57, 53. So you get the idea. So that's what it is collectively coming out. But as I have not passed through the two units, I feel pretty confident that once we put it in a tighter compartment of the sky box, and it constantly goes through and recirculates that we should definitely achieve a chilled chilled process because the inside of this oh, wrong side because the inside of that box is it's pretty it's pretty tight in there we should get definitely good get some good circulation going but that gives you an idea of what I'm up to and what I am trying to achieve with these things and it's been a slow go just because the, the garage side has been very busy with business. But anyhow, I uh, hope you liked the update. Thanks for watching. And as always, thanks for subscribing and stay tuned.